Let me stop that. Uh, vocal warm ups. Yeah, but you're grossing me out. No, 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 no. I will cut you from this show. <laughs> I thought you were just going to leave that cut you. Hey everyone, welcome to Snacking Me Silly. Where we snack and we are silly. Uh, well, at least I'm silly. You're mildly silly. True. You can learn some silliness like this. So we have come full circle. We are doing another Tokyo Treat Snacks. Um, This is actually the February box. So we finally received the February box. So like, happy Valentine's Day again. And where the theme is, and I got the email about it, is strawberry. Which makes sense for a February box. Yeah, apparently it was on back order because it was so popular. And also there were um, a couple things they weren't able to get in the box. Yeah, so they had to make sure that they had all the stock before they could send it out. And so here it is. So let's get started. And we have our handy dandy book of exactly what we are trying. Which I am excited. So excited. And then, hmm, actually, just has a few ads in here too. Koala's March Strawberry. Hey, we can get these around here. Oh yes, I love koalas. Well, <laughs> I love those koalas, actual koalas. And here's some extra Kit Kats. Uh, oh yeah, because I ordered the Kit Kat box. Ah. So, mine as well. Start with the Kit Kats. So this one, I, it looks like it's like a strawberry chocolate mochi ball. Yeah. Kit Kat, which let me let me confirm. Kit Kat has been pretty popular on the channel lately. It says Daifuku. I, sure. I don't know what that is. But I guess we will find This is a family friendly, so I'd appreciate it if you don't swear. Done. So yeah, it looks like a rice ball with a chocolate and a strawberry in it. Mm-hmm. So. Oh, it's white chocolate. Ooh, it smells good. It smells really good. It looks like it actually has bits of like strawberry in the chocolate. Yeah. See, that's what we're missing here. Is, you know, good quality like this. What's Interesting. It? <laughs> yes, this is interesting. <laughs> I don't, uh... It doesn't taste like white chocolate. No, it doesn't taste like white chocolate at all. It almost has like a an earthy taste to it. Yeah. Not in a bad way. Almost like mochi, but not to the point where I don't want to eat it. The reason why we don't like mochi for the most part is the texture, so. No, I don't like it tasting like a leaf. That's not mochi. Oh, sorry, That's not matcha. mochi. Matcha. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was really good. Good slash interesting. It's <laughs> a good way to start. Indeed. Okay, your turn. Um. Well, this giant bag here is calling my name. So here we have um, their Frito-Lay, and they are dragon spirals. Yeah, they're called dragon chips, and you almost just threw them. Uh, it's called the Creamy Taraco, Taraco, with gentle butter, so. Yeah, let's say it looks like there's butter right on it with like, like Potato, so chips and butter, butter chips? I don't know. <laughs> Try not to be loud with the crunching. It's a weird smell. That is a weird smell. What is it? What does it smell like? I don't know. Well, it's gonna be slow. Whoa, they're like little spirals. I know that's what it'll look like on the but thing. But they look but... more like a Cheeto puff on the thing. Than yeah. They're like almost like a burnt something, you know? Like right. A... Maybe the theme of this box is going to be interesting. <laughs> Tastes interesting. I really like the texture, though. Yeah, me too. It's almost, it's like a, a, a harder Cheeto puff. So it's a mix between a Cheeto puff and a Cheeto. Um... But it tastes like, what are those called? The, um, it's a potato chip you can get here, I think it starts with an M. 
Are they like the potato skin chips? Kinda, yeah. Oh, I don't know God. the name of them, but I, 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 I will put a I put an image right here on the screen of what they are. Mm -hmm. They're like and something chips. They got like a red bag and always says, oh, it's two dollars. And I have to figure out what they are. Yeah, they're interesting. I don't Actually, know. Actually, I like them a lot. Okay, I, I, I don't like know them. that I really like them. They're interesting. I like them. I also like the shape of them. They're kind of. They're fun. They're almost like how bugles are fun. Oh, yeah. That's kind of how those are, but they don't, they don't really taste like bugles. And you can't also put your finger in it like a bugle. <laughs> Uh, uh, <gasps> All right, we're back. Uh, Buttercup laid on the cord and um, knocked our light over, and so yeah. So moving on, I will um, choose the next one. Oh, so this one is Caplico. So if you remember from our first video, if you watched our first video, if you didn't go watch it and then go, oh wow, they really grew since then. Right. Yeah. Um, this was like the ice cream cone that looked like, and it had that weird, like, white chocolate, mm -hmm. weird bubbly texture. Yeah. So that's what these are called, so see if I can open it. We, we were smart the one episode we brought scissors. Right, and this time we didn't, oh. Oh, no, it's not like that. Well, no, it's the same brand. It's not oh. an ice cream cone. I'm just saying it's the same, like, brand, but they're, like, shaped like hearts, but it looks like it's going to be the same type of texture. And it what's... That's a really cool case. Yeah, it really is. And you just pop them up from the bottom. Whoa. So okay. these ones like might be like actual like strawberry. So, strawberry chocolate. on one side and chocolate on the other. They smell really good. Yes, they do. Still such a weird texture though. Oh, and it's almost like it just melts after you chew it. So yeah, it tastes like strawberry and chocolate. Mm -hmm. um, but like natural strawberry. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't taste like the artificial strawberry. It tastes really good. Like, if you can get past the texture, just kind of like soapy. Well, this texture isn't as bad as that. Not one. the other one, no. But these are really good. Yeah. I like them. I need to put them away before I eat them all. <laughs> Welcome to the next 20 minutes of us just eating the one candy. Right. <laughs> so, it is your turn. Well, let's see. I'm sorry if you can hear the train in the background. Yeah, it was a train. <laughs> Another train. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, no. Ooh, yeah, yeah, let's try that one. This one kind of looks like a strawberry zebra cake. Yeah, zebra cake. I was just about to say that. It looks like zebra and strawberry and cake and delish, but maybe not nutrish. Ooh, and not it kind of what I was expecting. Almost looks like a, a ho ho. <laughs> you look like a ho ho. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> it tastes like a, you no, know, or not like a Swiss cake roll, but they have the strawberry Swiss cake rolls. That's mm -hmm. kind of what it tastes like. And you just spit crumbs everywhere. I hope the camera picked that up. <laughs> yeah, it's really good. <laughs> mm, I really like that. Yeah. It's like not overly sweet. I think we say that a lot with Japanese candies. Yeah. Not super sweet, but just enough that, yeah, you got the rest Well, candy outside of the U.S. is generally not that sweet. In fact, a lot of cultures, salty is their candy. And that's what she said. <laughs> Family friendly show. <laughs> no, I really like that. Um, so. Yeah, that was really good. Let's try this one next. Looks like cheese puffs. It is actually caramel corn. Which oh, is so they're on the bottom, yeah. Yeah. With a peanut on it, so maybe it's like the caramel corn with a peanut in it. Maybe. Or maybe it's peanut flavored. Gosh darn it, I can never open it that way. Apparently I can't open it this way either. Do we want to get scissors? No, we should be fine. Regrets, much regrets later. Regrets? Whoa. They are in very strange shape. Ooh, smell really good though. But yeah, this is what they look like. Hmm, that's really weird. It's like a Cheeto puff with caramel on it. Yeah, I actually really enjoy this. Yeah, these are really. <laughs> I really need to get a new word to describe things. 
I'm telling you, I'm looking into making shirts. <laughs> so eventually mm. you can see it on our merch store. You can buy, it's really good. Yeah, these are super interesting and, and the, tasty. The texture is a little different too. It, like, it tastes like a Cheeto puff. It like, tastes like a Cheeto puff texture with uh, caramel drizzle on it. But there's like almost like a hard shell in a way. Like, I don't think so. Yeah, it's the caramel. <laughs> yeah, it's crunchier is my point. It's not crunchy. It's crunchy. No. On the outside. It is crunchy, but so are Cheeto Puffs. No, Cheeto Puffs. Okay, just choose that. Choose you. that outside. You. Crank that soldier. You. Um, <laughs> um, these are just marshmallows. Let's save those for like a second They're probably like strawberry marshmallows. Um, these look like they are like yogurt covered raisins, maybe? Strawberry choco balls. Oh. The strawberry chocolate balls prove the best things do come in small packages. <laughs> <laughs> Family friendly! Apparently they have a really light texture and they're a very popular chocolate snack. There you go. Yeah, they look like they're strawberry yogurt almost though. Yeah, they do. Kind of looks like a little butt. Oh. oh. Whoa. No, that's not at all what we thought. Nope. Nope. It almost tastes like... A chocolate ice cream cone. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like really super light and fluffy. And like crispy, but if you ever had an M&M &M crisp, it's like that but with yeah. less chocolate mm -hmm. taste. Yes, it's like only a small chocolate shell on the outside and the rest is, is the crisp. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, these are dangerous. All right, buttercup interruption break is over. Bullocks. Uh, did you pick that one? Uh, I did pick that one. Okay, so let's see here. Well, this one, I'm going to pick the next one too. But um, this one is going to go on our, what is it, the hot drinks from different countries episode. Uh, it looks like this one's like a coffee, like a latte drink that you can... But it's like an instant one, so you mm -hmm. boil water, you throw that in there, stir it, and you're good. I think you actually might do oh. uh, for that one. Let me read if it's in here. Blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's supposed to be mixed with milk, and it's actually a Japanese tea. Oh, milk tea. Yeah, it's supposed to be used on Valentine's Day. It's supposed to be romantic. Oh, well, they shipped it in the wrong... <laughs> anyway, um, pick the next one. How was that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this one is actually exactly what you're thinking of. The like strawberry the whole, short it's like cake a strawberry roll. Okay, where did I put the scissors? They I magically scissors. appeared. Where could they have come from? They're magically delicious. Well, that is not what I was <laughs> expecting. <laughs> so, image on the bag, actually. It's kind of like how when you get a bag of chips and you're like, oh wow, there's a huge bag of chips, and you open it and half of it's just air. Yeah, yeah. It smells good though. I mean, it smells like strawberry. It tastes like they made a pancake and they like rolled it. Like a crepe? No. Oh. The scrapes are thin. I like it. Mm. Yeah, it's really good. It's very light. Yeah, I can see what you mean by like a pancake texture. Mm -hmm. Cause I'm always right. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even deny it. He may laugh, but he knows. Yeah, let's look back at the uh, the UK chocolate bars. Episode. Hey, I'm not talking about the videos. I'm talking outside of videos. Where literally, we were both of us were wrong on every single one of them. Anyways, <laughs> your turn. Oh, this. So this one actually is like that ice cream cone one, I think. It's a different brand though, so I think it might be marshmallow. Oh. Uh, so can we put it back? So, nope. You picked it up. So it's a strawberry ice cream cone. Cat was trying Fluffy to. Fluffy marshmallow. Ew. Marshmallow, we don't like you. Love how like we say how much we don't like marshmallow and everything we get has lots of marshmallow. It's not our fault. I didn't take a bite yet. I smell it. Stop it. Mmm, <laughs> marshmallow. I'm about as gross as you'd think it'd be. 
Oh, it has actually like strawberry jelly inside. Marshmallow is actually not that bad. Yeah, but the the cone is like a really thin, like tasteless wafer that just seems like it's stale, and I don't want any of this. You don't want to try the jam? The yeah. jam is okay. The, the, the jelly in the middle. The jelly middle is really good. <laughs> it's not that good. Good. Okie dokie. So these ones, they look like actual like puff popcorn. They look like they have cheese on it though. They're cheese chips. But they're, they look like puffs. I was going to try to make a joke there, but I figured oh. it'd be a little too cheesy. They, they don't look like puffs at all. They're like crisps. Oh, yeah. Almost, you know what they kind of look like? Uh, a slightly bigger, like, <laughs> like uh, frosted flake. <laughs> mm. Ooh. These could be dangerous. These almost taste like bugles. Yes, which is funny because they were mentioned earlier in the episode. Mm -hmm. I could, I could eat an entire bag of this, yes. but you stop hogging them so I can eat some. I don't know, you can hog I, that other phone. I, the other what? Oh, they're all over here. Yep. Yep. You kind of make... Why would you waste so many? It's like bugles and pork rinds. Bugle rinds. Is what they remind me of. I just, I'm not having any of him today. <laughs> okay, wait, I think I chose those. I think you did too. So we can probably just toss these up. Ooh, what are these? These look like little heart-shaped waffles. Waffle chips. And I think that's what they are. I think they are waffle chips. They're veggie hearts. I know uh, I was reading. Oh, they're veggies? <laughs> Why? So apparently these veggie snacks are very popular in Japan. They're just veggie chips. And he chose them. Ha, 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 ha. Colorful marketing, you've got me again. No, see, I can actually open these. Oh, I'm gonna punch you. Here you go. Oh, it smells like veggies. Yeah. Does it look like hearts? Actually, they don't taste that bad. Because I heart you. Yeah, they taste really good. They're like, kind of like a cheese it Kind of. I don't see the other flavor of veggie. I just kind of taste They didn't it. say it's a bunch of veggies. They just said different colors. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, to me, it's just more like... <laughs> tastes kind of like a cheese it yeah. Something like in that same realm. But they're really light, fluffy texture. They don't mm -hmm. taste like normal chips here. They just taste like yeah. fluffy. I don't know. Light and fluffy is another word that's coming up a lot. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So this says Choco Bat, so I'm assuming it's a chocolate bat, which if you're the person you like doesn't love you, then just whack. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. Good, okay. I thought you meant like a chocolate bat, like the animal. Oh, but I'm it like, has a guy a, with a bat on it's it. It's an elongated bat. Not, I didn't think it meant like a baseball bat. But that's hilarious. But it's not even shaped like a bat, and I think it's, I think it's hollow. <laughs> it's a hollow chaco. Oh, it's like melting. Okay. It's not hollow. It's not hollow. Is that some sort of light, fluffy, marshmallowy? Mm-mm. It's like bread. Oh. Yeah, sweet, crunchy bread. Like a biscotti. No, it's not like a biscotti. Oh. Biscottis are really hard. So cheese. <laughs> I was just naming bread. It almost tastes like a sweet, like, baguette. Yeah. Like a little softer, though. I like it, though. Stop making bread jokes. Family friendly channel. <laughs> um. Do you want the rest of it, or? No, not right now. We have a lot to eat. Well. I'm gonna keep it in front of me because I'm probably getting the wrong point. Anyways. I'm gonna look at this next one here. 
Um, so this one, to me, it reminds me of like... like a protein bar. <laughs> exactly, yeah. It, to me, it looks like it would be a protein bar. Mm -hmm. let's, let's see, shall we? It's called Black Thunder. Choco Bar Japan is what it says on it. It's the ultimate Valentine's cookie. Ooh. The bitterness of rich cocoa battles the sweet chocolate topping to create a crunchy cookie harmony. Hmm. Oh, interesting. Looks like a protein bar. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Got a nice little texture in there. Oh, crispy. Like a crunch bar? No, like a cookies and cream almost, like a cookies and cream bar. Or, you know, like a protein bar. It doesn't taste like cream no, it doesn't. or anything like a protein bar. And it just tastes really, really good. Yeah. It has like a cookies and cream kind of taste to it. Mm -hmm. And like they said, the bitterness of the chocolate and something with the sweet of the something. It all complements itself. Yeah. Perfect thing to do on Valentine's Day is compliment yourself, so... Well, other people are supposed to compliment you, but if you can't get other people, then get a candy bar to compliment you. <laughs> <laughs> I was just saving the marshmallow for last. Yeah, they're marshmallows. Okay, so this one is puree. It looks like it's apples and honey. I don't know Ooh. if it's like two different flavors or like... It looks like they're two separate. We'll see when you open it. The wording is weird on that. It looks like separate, but duo, like. Like uh, those mints? The duos mints? Like the duo mints, yeah. Or like the uh, the flip sides. Oh, okay, yeah. So they are in the shape of hearts. Oh, they so kind of look like the peach rings or something. You know, like those little gummies. Yeah. So this one does not look like a heart, but. I mean, this one barely looks like a heart. Hold on. There, now it kind of looks like a heart. A little deformed. They're idea. a little sour. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. And I don't really like honey. They're sour and they taste like soap. Oh, oh goodness. Oh. Yeah, definitely. I taste the honey way more than I taste the apple. See, it I gave me goosebumps. See, I taste the apple like a. It tastes like green apple, but it looks like a red apple on there. Yeah. Sourness of green. Stop I don't disagree like, with me. I don't like honey, so I think that's what I like focus oh. on. I, I think they're really good, even though they're sour. Yeah, and they're not like, oh my gosh, the sourest thing that I've ever had, but I was not expecting sour. No, not at all. I was expecting sweet with how sweet this box has been so far. I actually probably would eat more of these. Like, to be honest, these are actually really good to me. Even though they're sour and they kind of taste a little mm -hmm. soapish. I mean, Sour Patch Kids, people like those. Yeah, true. Okay. I think it's just because I associate that that taste with kind of like the smell because we always had like an apple um mm. like an apple soap growing up right that so makes sense that's what I'm... okay let's see here so we have koalas and then we have i sound like i said like koalas <laughs> gray not gray Del i can't speak edit all of that out dalmatians i was gonna say dolphins like what the hell is wrong with you? i want a coat made out of 101 dolphins that would be a really gross coat. Okay, so this one looks like it's like a biscotti shaped like a flower. I can't remember if we've tasted one like this before. I don't think chocolate. I think it was just all of those like cheese ones. Yeah. It tastes like the cheese one. Not what I was expecting. I was expecting more of a cookie. No, I was expecting more of a crunch, but this like has a... An oddly gooey center. Like, yeah. It's like not gooey, but it is. It almost tastes like those cheese sticks, but like coated in chocolate. So take those cheese sticks and mix it with a cocoa puff. It's actually delicious. Yeah, it is. I'll let him have the rest of it. Ooh, yeah. It is. There's a little it's bit like like a fudge. bunch of fudge in the middle. Yeah. It's packed full of fudge. <laughs> <laughs> Family friendly channel! So last but not least, we have the Koala's March Strawberry. And um... They look a little bit different than ours. Maybe it's just on the box. I'm sure they're going to look exactly the same. Yeah. 
Um, and maybe it's just like a different design because different country. Yeah. So you can get these at almost any store. You can get the chocolate, strawberry. They have banana now, which is really yeah. good. Chocolate banana ones are actually really good. Mm -hmm. Randomly found those one day. That was cool. There you go. Thank you. So they're basically just cute little pictures of the koalas. If I can get it to stay in my thing. We also have the ones that are pandas that are a little uh, cheaper, but they're still just as good. So it's like a cracker almost with filling. So. I would say these taste almost exactly the same except for the nice sweet, which again is a reoccurring thing. Yeah, it's almost like the same thing as eating Pocky, mm -hmm. but just not in a stick. It's just in a concentrated square. Koala. <laughs> Koala DeVille. Yeah, so that is it for our Japan box, or Tokyo treat. Yes. Premium box from Japan with love. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I think everything was really good. Definitely felt the February vibe Yes. in this box with like almost everything had some type of strawberry besides a few. Yeah, and I'm sorry this is probably coming out mid-March, but we just got it at the beginning of March. So, like we said, they had it on back order. Understandable. Mm -hmm. um, we also have the March box. We're going to be yes. recording soon. So we should have that out by the end of March, hopefully. That's what we're thinking. So. But anyway, if you uh, enjoyed this, feel free to hit the like button. And make sure to subscribe. Also, subscribe in these directions. <laughs> so you don't miss any of our posts. Um, we post on Fridays at 10 a.m. Central Time, and we're thinking of expanding that to also Wednesday, Wednesdays at Central 10 a.m. Central Time, too. Um, we're working on that because we do have a lot of awesome content for you guys. I had a hiccup. Hold on. So, yeah. Uh, also, make sure to like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter as well. And we are thinking of creating a Snapchat, too, so we can share our adventures. Yes. Um, but that is in the works and not created quite yet. Exactly. So, hope that you enjoyed yourself. I know that we enjoyed ourselves. Very much. <laughs> and, uh... We'll talk to you guys later. Bye! This is going to be my new sign-off. You're going to be a hippie? No. So I'm going to get patchouli? That's a, that's like a... Ching. The Japanese thing. I was trying to be a hippie. <laughs> what the hell was that?